Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll see there, the US there, there is uh, move on the move back up above potential resistance at 69.69. Um, most global markets have recovered slightly. UK 100 has as well. Um, Germany 30, however, is a little bit slow off the mark as is the Spanish 35. US markets have always been a little bit more resilient and uh, we are heading into quite an action-packed week with lots of earnings from Intel, Yahoo, Google, amongst others. Um, so there's a lot of uh, big um, blue chip companies and tech companies reporting this week. So there promises to be a lot happening in regards to equities. And um, we're already seeing some decent moves across some of those markets this morning. So um, US 30 on the right side of potential resistance at 16.969. The next potential uh, resistance will be at that all time high level that it reached there on the 3rd of July, uh, around about 17,080. So moving on to the UK 100 there. Uh, it has recovered slightly, gapping up higher this morning from Friday's close. It's a hammer formation we actually had there on Friday. Uh, next potential resistance is at 6774. Um, as I said, the Germany 30 is looking slightly anemic this morning, but uh, UK 100 has uh, it's certainly moving in the right direction. It's at the top end of its range already this morning, uh, and we'll, we'll come back to that in a second when we look at what economic data is due. As you can see, we've got CPI, my fact, today's the 14th, not the 15th. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of economic data today. Tomorrow we do, however, um, we'll pick uh, the UK 100 will be more in focus on that uh, tomorrow rather than today, I think. So Japan 225, okay, so dollar yen is shooting up a lot higher. So we're seeing a lot of yen retreat. So people are buying back into, um, you know, buying the dollar at the expense of the yen, really helping Japan 225 jump back. We had broken through that triangle, uh, sort of ascending, ascending triangle formation there last week but now we're back in the inside of it next potential resistance is at 15488 uh, obviously it depends a lot about how us earnings continues on that'll be a big driver and as people get more confident uh, i can see that gold has been smashed uh, crude oil has been smashed uh, the yen's uh, on the back foot isn't that like a giant move here on the daily charts and then day charts it's, it's a lot it's a lot more aggressive um but we're on the right side of 101 spot 35 we're still, I think longer term trend is still down. A lot of pressure on dollar yen. Uh, it's been very difficult for, for yen to get, uh, dollar yen to get back above 102 spot 90. Uh, we're obviously a long way from there just now, but at the bottom of this range, this could be another sideways range um, that could appear over the next couple of sessions. We'll have to wait and see. So jumping on to crude West Texas with all the issues over in Libya uh, and Iraq and Ukraine, uh, this huge sell-off that we saw there on Friday uh, is, is quite puzzling, really, to be honest, from a trading perspective. We are actually trading below 100, spot 60 just now. Next potential resistance is at 99. Um, with all the fundamentals just now, this, this, is, um, this is an interesting set of movement, but it's all to do about supply and demand ultimately, and for whatever reason, um, there isn't the same um, squeeze on, on, on crude um, supply. Uh, as what you might have expected, but considering all the uh, fundamentals, especially with Gaza and Israel and everything all flaring up in the Middle East. But um, this move to the downside here will stop by potential support at 100 spot 61. We're currently trading below that right now. So the next potential support is at $99 per barrel. So looking at gold, it's had a really hard time. Real negative candle again today, still bouncing off this longer term potential trend line right here. Um, lots of pressure, it looks horrible in the day chart and uh, you guys should definitely get a chance to check that out. Um, but this is a very uh, important moment for gold, depending, I think this week if the if earnings comes out to be very strong, um, doesn't even seem that uh, all this trouble in the Middle East is slowing this market down considerably as of yet. But uh, markets are getting quite close to all time highs again. So Euro dollar uh, is also spiking higher this morning. On the day chart, the Euro is going great guns already this morning. Uh, on the daily candlestick charts, uh, I, you know, we're at the top end of the range. Next potential resistance is one spot 36.45, then one spot 37.10. Um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how that, how that transpires. But this is certainly an encouraging sign first thing in the morning. We've still got industrial production due at 10 uh, a.m. UK time. So cable, cable's been unable to capitalize on uh, on another retest of one spot 7184. We are seeing lots of support round right about one spot 71, uh, and you can quite clearly see this by looking at the tips of the candles. So let's just say 17110, uh, and it keeps on bouncing off these levels. There's obviously pressure from the upside. It's not making uh, higher highs. In the last couple of sessions has been making lower lows. In fact. You know, this was the high on Wednesday, 
um, this was a close on Thursday, you know, this was a close on uh, Friday, and then this is boy. where we are today. So um, we could have an ascending triangle formation again here. If I just get my um, my trend line from, say, from here to here, or even just bring that down a little bit further, um, we could be looking at that. In fact, I'm going to keep that on there, um, and that'll give you a bit of a flavor of what to expect. So uh, we'll get a breakout either, either direction based on that. I'll just save that to my layout. So tomorrow we do have uh, CPI and RPI from the UK and uh, the ZDW business report and retail sales from the US. And uh, as I said, there are a number of uh, big bellwether US companies um, going to be promoting, are uh, going to be coming out with their earnings this week. So that should be interesting. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever and uh, make insights part of your layout. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.